Hey, welcome to another video. So today we're going to be going into the flight to Dragonstone, but before I begin, please be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, join the Sith Citadel Discord, links in the description, and consider becoming a join member or sending a super thanks if you wish to further support the channel. Otherwise, let's jump straight into it. The flight to Dragonstone designates the journey from King's Landing to the island of Dragonstone made by Queen Rhaenyra Targaryen and her small escort at the end of 130 AC during the Dance of the Dragons. So, Rhaenyra led the Blacks in the taking of King's Landing from the Greens. As the inhabitants of the city did not bear love for King Aegon and his regent brother, Prince Aemond, they welcomed the arrival of the Queen. However, executions ordered by Rhaenyra and the increase in taxes implemented by her master of coin, Lord Bartimus Seltigar, made the new queen hated by the King's Landers, to the point that the realm's delight became known in the streets as Migor with Teats. The Green's victory at the First Battle of Tumbleton worsened the situation for Rhaenyra, and King's Landing was terrorized by the advancing Green army being so close. The death of Queen Helena Targaryen, Aegon's sister wife who was taken captive by the Blacks after the city's fall, triggered many riots throughout the city, which led to the storming of the Dragon Pit. The consequences were terrible for Rhaenyra. All dragons in King's Landing were massacred by the angry crowd. Thousands of men were burned or crushed. The Hill of Rhaenys was in flames, and Prince Joffrey Velaryon, a son of Rhaenyra, died while trying to save his dragon, Taraxes. Rhaenyra Targaryen's advisors agreed that King's Landing could no longer be held, and she was persuaded to flee with four of her ladies-in-waiting and Prince Aegon the Younger who believed was her last living son at the time. The queen's fool, the dwarf mushroom, remained behind. Rhaenyra's royal court was composed of Sir Mandric Manderley and his brother, Sir Torin. The four surviving queen's guards, Sir Lionel Bentley, Sir Harold Drake, Sir Adrian Redfoot, and Sir Loras Lansdale, Sir Balin Birch, and 20 of his gold cloaks. The party left the Red Keep at the dawn of the following day of the riots, slipping out of the city through the Dragon Gate and rode along the coast towards Duskendale. The flight proved difficult, as Rossby, the castle closed its gates when they approached, and at Stokeworth, the Castellan granted them hospitality only for one night. Half of the gold cloaks deserted, and Balon and Lionel were killed during an outlaw attack. At Duskendale, Lady Meredith Darkland opened the gates of the Dunfort, on the condition that they would not stay long only after the intervention of Harold, akin to the Darklands. With the help of Lady Darkland's maester, Rhaenyra sent three ravens to Grand Maester Geraldes on Dragonstone, asking for a ship to come and sail her home, but no ship came. Lord Cregan Stark and Lady Jane Arryn wrote of their support for Rhaenyra's cause, although it would take time for their distant armies to reach the Queen. Once Lady Darkland revoked her hospitality, Rhaenyra was forced to sell her crown to buy passage on a Bravosi merchant ship, the Violande. Harold advised Rhaenyra to sail to Lady Arryn in the Vale, and the Manderley brothers offered to bring her to White Harbor. The Queen refused them, however, sailing instead to her seat on Dragonstone, where she hoped to hatch a dragon egg. The remaining gold cloaks stayed in Duskendale. Rhaenyra arrived at Dragonstone on the 22nd day of the 10th moon of 130 AC, with the Manderleys returning to the north aboard the Violande. Sir Alfred Broom and 40 guards escorted the Queen's diminished party from the harbor to the castle, where they found the corpses of Geraldes and Sir Robert Quince. The Queen's guard were too slow to understand Alfred had betrayed Rhaenyra for Aegon, and the three knights were killed by Alfred's guards. After a quick and cordial exchange between the half-sister and the half-brother, Rhaenyra was forcefully separated from her son and placed in front of Sunfire, who burned her with dragon flame and then devoured her. Prince Aegon the Younger was forced to watch his mother die, and Alinda Massey supposedly gouged out her eyes at the sight. Rhaenyra's ladies and son were made prisoners of the Greens. Rhaenyra Targaryen's flight from King's Landing left a power vacuum in the capital, and three monarchs, Tristane, Truefire, Gaiman Palahair, and the Shepherd, took control of parts of the city during the moon of the Three Kings. Lord Boros Baratheon eventually marched on the city in support of the Greens. The death of Rhaenyra hurt the cause of the Blacks, but King Aegon was forced to remain at Dragonstone since his return to King's Landing was blocked by the Velaryon fleet. The Dance of the Dragons continued, as the claim of the captive Prince Aegon the Younger was taken up by Lord Kermit Tully, Lord Cregan Stark, and Lady Jane Arryn. So what did you guys think of the flight to Dragonstone? Please let me know in the comments down below. If you haven't already, please be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, 
join the Sith Citadel Discord, links in the description. And consider becoming a join member or sending a super thanks if you wish to further support the channel. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.